Good evening. Um, not a good morning. Uh, I didn't have time this morning to um, do any work. Various things happening, uh, like delivery of stones and stuff. Anyway, um, so I've, I've got a bit of time this evening, so I'm going to quickly um, do what I would have done this morning. Um, so as we left it on Friday morning, um, we had implemented the edit goal um, but we had a little problem when we saved it and um, we will get an SQL error um, and it turns out that, that was because I did that little quick um, refactoring moving all the commas to the front there but I'd missed one and I'd left it at the end I think it was at the end of member ID so I had an extra comma so one character change um, so I fixed that um, and now it should work. So uh, if I do, I don't know, cycle 200 miles by the end of, yeah, that's fine. It's not going to happen. Um, by, hold on. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's not a bad goal. Might do that one day. And if I save it, it's worked. Um, and if I go back to the main goals, it's there, it's changed. And if I refresh the page, it's definitely worked. That's great. However, there is a little bug that I noticed. Um, when you're in the edit, if you start changing something, and then you change your mind, who wants to wibble 200 miles? Um, if I hit cancel, it's kept change and it will even show in the goals as well and that's because I am passing in an instance of the goal store um, value uh, let's see yeah so we've got let's find the edit goals in the edit goal uh, we're grabbing um, a goal and we're passing it directly in, uh, and that's a reference uh, to a goal from the from the goals. We're passing it into the edit goal, and we're just using it as is. So that means we're actually changing the goal in the store, uh, which is a nano. You're not supposed to do that if you're going to potentially roll it back effectively. So there's a quick and easy fix to that. Um, and that also lead, led me on to realize that I've been doing some other things that I shouldn't be doing either, such as um, using roots um, in components rather than in the root definition. So instead of pushing to a root um, from a component, I should be pushing to it from the roots um, component as such. Uh, so I'm going to get to that in a minute. Uh, but let's first um, fix this. So what we need to do is pass in a copy of the goal that we found, not a reference to the goal. So we're doing an await, and we need to do that because we want an on mount there, and we need it to be async, and we need to potentially go off and do a fetch if we haven't already got goals. So if they're coming to a bookmark or something, or doing a back. So we'll need to... I presume we could do this. I know it's an object, so we will spread it and keep the await inside it. Seems interesting. Well, it's not complaining, so. 
Let's save that and see what happens. Okay, is it all deployed? There it goes. Off to the three servers. Right, just refresh that from the database. Okay, cycle 200 miles. No, I want to wibble. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. Hit cancel and it's back. Cool. And does it work if I change to do I actually decide to keep it wibble 200 times wibble all day if I actually save that does it work it looks like it refresh Good. Good stuff. Okay. That'll do for that. I'll just commit that because uh, that's phase one of what we need to do. Okay. All right, so the other problem I've got is it's not such a problem, but it's not, I'm not doing the right thing. Um, I wouldn't do this in my other work. I would just, um, so at the moment, this component knows too much about the app. Um, it knows that there's a goal uh, route um, and it's got no business knowing that. Um, this is uh, a small little component that gets past a goal. Um, it edits it, it edits it um, and says, yay, I've done so. And that, that could potentially be something when we change. We could actually say, Here's, here's the edited goal, go do something with it. But for the moment, I'm okay with it having API knowledge. We might refactor that later. Um, and it it's even on a cancel, it knows to pop. Uh, but it shouldn't, it should just be saying, um, you know, cancel. And, you know, now, now that I'm talking about, I don't know whether I should actually keep all this API stuff in the component. Yeah, I think that's right for the moment because I'm, I'm going to change the way that we talk to the outside world from this component. Okay, so what I'm going to do um, is I am going to change it so that when when a save is successful the component's going to emit an event to say saved um, and if we cancel this, the edit it's just gonna uh, Output cancelled. Yeah. And I think that's. Yeah, I think that will do, because otherwise we can we could go a little bit. 
we could pull it up so that the API is actually called outside and in the root, but I think for the time being, having all the edit stuff actually in the component is fine. We might move it into JS at some point later anyway. Yeah, no, I think we're good. Okay, so to do, update the goal in place. No, we're not going to do that. And we are not going to push either. What we're going to do is that's the only point where we have success. So what we're going to do is it's an a um, custom thing, so this is a uh, date event dispatcher because we are going to dispatch an event and so we have a const dispatch equals new is that right? Or do I have to create? Guess we'll find out soon. Yeah, because that's that's right, isn't it? No, new. I'm doubting myself now. Have I used it yet? I don't think I have. I know yeah, it is not new because it is it's JavaScript band for stars, isn't it? We don't have classes. I guess it is. I haven't done used one down here as such. But yeah, now we don't need to. It's a function. That's oh, a class. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we've got a constant. I've got a service in there. I'm going to bring that down inside the function as well. We don't need to create it unnecessarily. Do the thing. We are happy, so. You know what, we don't even need to do a goals reset there either, because that's too much knowledge. We will dispatch. Uh, we're going to call this saved. And just in case it's useful. No, we don't need to do anything there. I was thinking we could pass back the goal. That's a detail. But we know it's incomplete. No. I think what we'll do is we'll just leave it bare for the moment and we'll go off and we'll get the goals. Because I'm gonna that's what I want to change. I wanna 
clean up the API a little bit so it's doing a little bit less. It's a little bit more single responsibility. So we will, yeah, if we have a goal, that's going to change in a minute, but for the moment, we're good. We're going to dispatch saved. And on here, we're going to, oops. Dispatch cancelled. So on cancel, we dispatch cancelled. When we get a successful save, we dispatch saved. We already know it's in the database by then. And then in the root, we're going to have to catch that, so um, and all cancelled. to pass in no no okay uh, so here we're going to do the pop so let's go it's already taken it out okay we could put it in ourselves then import Spelt Spark Yeah, I'll keep it explicit on that. I could Makes no difference. Pop. And then we're also going to have um, oh. and all saved. And we will reset the goals. And we will push. Oh. We could, in theory, just pop. Nah, we'll just push. That'd just be nice and Explicit there, and so that's going to be the goal. Dot I D. Now we need to actually use them. So on cancelled. equals handle cancelled 
and on saved equals handle saved. Okay, so we are in our route. We are given a goal. From the pram, which we sorry, go gag. I'm sorry, we've given a goal ID, uh, so it's bookmarkable. Blah blah blah. Go get it in an async. Spread it out into a new goal. Pass that into the edit goal. On cancel, we handle that with a pop. On save, we handle that by resetting the goals and then going back to the goal page, which we know is going to fetch the goal again from the database, all nice and clean with all data. Okay. And in our edit goal component, We are, yeah, we're taking in the goal, do the bindy thing on cancel, cancelled, saved. Make sure we get a goal back at the moment, but I want to change that. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's. Give that a go. I think we're good. Famous last words. Cycle, shall we? Cycle two hundred miles. Get it. it looks like it worked. Edit goal, get goal, get measurements, that's good. If I go back to goals, it's there. Cycling works. If I change this to Wibble again, but cancel, it just pops. So if I somehow I grab that and I go to goals and then I override and then I cancel straight back to goals. Well, that's doing the right thing. Good. Okay. That's phase 1.1. Okay. So that means edit goal is doing roughly what I want now. There's no knowledge of roots in that component. It does know about goals, but only as a library and it's passing in information. Doing the API save. I could move that up into the root, but I don't think I need to. I think it's good. What I don't need to do it's in the API. I do not need to be returning anything bar good because I'm not going to use that goal that's returned. So 
don't need to do a read. It's just a waste of time. If the commit worked, the commit worked. So we're going to change this. We're going to change the response. We're just going to say saved. Is that what I was using in the dispatch? Yeah, we'll keep it consistent. So that's true. Yeah, we're good there. So now we need to go edit that. That's going to return now. Oops. Saved. Oh, that's the wrong one. Roll that back. What we want is the definition. Uh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Does the thing. So now we're going to get back saved. And in the edit goal component, we will handle that instead. Was it saved? Do we have a saved? And was it true? Dispatch saved. Done. Okay. Oops. How was that? No required module provides package. Why is that changed? I did update the um, modules and stuff recently. Oops. Why do I need to do that? Let's do a quick update. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know that. Okay. Let's just do what it says then. Interesting. Check that out later. Okay, so in theory, we won't see any real changes here. So if I change it, and I do, and I cancel, nothing happens. Ooh, Yeah, it looks like it worked. Did the edit, got the response, saved true. Then we go get the goals and its measurements. Sweet, give it a refresh. Same ID. Refresh. Works. Okay. Yeah. All right, one down. This will make edit go straight success. Now I do. Okay, that's one down. Let's get rid of some of this clutter up here. Edit goal is done. Don't need goal input, don't need date input. Goal. Let's have a look. just links yeah there's going to be some knowledge in these components hmm can't really get away from it totally But it's not a, um, what I was trying to get away from is having push and pops happening in a component because they are reactionary. Um, I don't want um, 
there to be quite so much knowledge as to where to go in the roots in a low level component. I want the roots to kind of manage them, the flow between them. Okay. So the goal doesn't really have anything to do there, so we're good. All right. What else do we need to clean up? We need to clean up. Let's check add goal, I think. Add goal doesn't do anything in its route yet. But it certainly does in its component. So we're going to make the same changes in here. All right. We are import create event dispatcher. probably don't need to have that default end date function up there, but with JavaScript, I always tend to put the function before the usage because linters and things go nuts otherwise. And even though this is compiled, it probably doesn't, it probably doesn't make any difference, but it's stuck in my brain. Uh, so we've got management staff, we're good there. We don't need that service to be there until trying to use it so we'll wrap it in the try just in case something goes wrong so we're doing add goal on a brand new goal so we don't need to do anything here with copies and stuff like that that's just not an issue what i do want to do is change this Now before we we'll go into the goal ID returned, in this scenario, this is new data that I only want to return. It's important data that has to come back. So Do not want the whole goal to come back there, I think. One of the reasons that I am in on like cleaning house when I do like an ad or edit goal is because if the date changes it kind of changes the the flow of the goals in the front page so in here they're supposed to be ordered in a particular way that will come into play as I put more in and stuff and you'll see um, but what I want is them to be in a particular date order so that you're seeing the ones that are coming up first um, and are active then you see um, like archived ones effectively later, ones that are completed and so on. So I think we're going to do a reset again, but we're going to pass back a goal ID. And in a 
our services. Yeah, we do tend to use goal ID. There's no other goal ones up there, is there? Okay. I think to keep it explicit. And obvious what it is, I'm going to pass in, I'm going to pass back. A goal ID. But I'm also going to pass back a boolean. This is going to be confirmation that something really did happen. And then you can decide whether you want to use the goal ID or not. Rather than using that as a um, pseudo boolean on its own. So the response is going to return saved. Shouldn't be putting it like that, should they? Go has a particular way of doing comments. Well, I keep forgetting. It's supposed to do something like saved denotes. Added or not. That's better. We'll take that comment and use it for the basis down here. Successfully. Did or not. And I think what we'll do up here. created just to help different words sometimes help like call I D is the newly created goals. ID. That should do it. Do not return measurements. Maybe return token string once they get that sorted. Okay. Get goals is going to do a thing. Password changed. It's fine. Change password reset. Yeah.
think the rest of them are good. Save that. So it's out of gone. I need to change now. Let's double check that other component. Dinky dinky dink. Take the data, stuff it in the request, get hopefully two things back so we definitely want to see saved and in our case in this particular instance of the usage if i don't get a goal id back something's gone terribly wrong so we'll go for that too um, I think that works. I don't remember the case. I wonder if I can... I bet it's like that. We'll see in a minute. That might fail. I think I can use um, the same case as sent, but it's not the JSON thing. Why are you complaining? I've just said it's going to exist. Hmm. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Shut that. Okay, well, we can just do that. Get rid of all of them. Dispatch. We're going to say saved. And in this case, we're going to have a little bit of detail to go with it. Um, and it's going to have a goal ID. Which is the JSON. ID. Should do it. Yeah, I might revert that to capitalize in a minute, but we'll see. Okay, that's all normal. Do the things. So, on click, dispatch. Cancelled. Saved with detail. Cancelled down there. The submit does its thing. That's good. Hopefully we just lost all the pop and push. Yep. Now in the root. Uh, 
Auto response. We're gonna pop. Saved. Get some detail this time. And we are going to push. Yeah, yeah, we'll just push. It's the same place. That's the goal. A little bit raw there, really should uh, check it, check the detail. Yeah, let's do that. No, I can't even get there. Let's see how that goes. So now the loot is going to be handling the cancel and the save, but the component does the busy work in the middle. And it doesn't rely. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Goals. Dot reset. Let's do it. Let's see whether that works. Oh. <laughs> I like compilers. So I made all those changes to the structure and everything, but I didn't actually update the um, the add goal service itself. Compilers, I love them. They so save it. so much heartache. Right, let's go. It's told me what's wrong. So here we go, we do not need so we're gonna validate begin create we create the measurement don't care about sending back any measurements Interesting. Yeah, I don't need the measurement. Okay. 
come to that in a sec. Saved. Ooh. Do I go really deep with this API and make create goal and create measurement just return their IDs too? Or do I keep them returning the full Monty? I think for the time being we'll leave them returning. This is unused here, so that becomes that. Does it not? Why is it not? Okay, because, yeah, Error on its own. <laughs> Okay, I think that's good. We will soon see. It compiled. As did the front end. Yeah, deployed. So add a goal. Well, actually, let's do the cycle one. Cycle two hundred miles. Oh, yeah, not that date. Uh, say. End of summer. Dunk. First map, definitely zero right so far. Ah, oh. interesting. Didn't go anywhere. That's not a good goal. Ah, oh. didn't return a goal ID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I wonder if I can make that like a required thing. I have to look into that. Okay. If I refresh, I should have a gold egg. That's good. Might have to add a delete soon. Okay, so we've got them. Let's do wibble. Ten times by 
whatever. Did I wibble? I think I did lots of wibbling today. I'll say that. Oh, it's still not working. Why is that? Ah, oh, well that's... Oh, okay. It is capitalised. I thought that might be the case. That's fine. So, the components. I'm, I'm glad about that. I was, it doesn't look right having a lowercase d there. And you know what? I probably could have. I probably could have told. told I bet if I. It probably doesn't tell you, does it? No, it doesn't give you any shape on the return there. Hey ho. So. And that's definitely capitalised there. Do I want to do that? I am kind of using everywhere else. What about the edit mm. I should maybe Well, technically, I should just pass back a lowercase id on its own. But I do like being explicit about what's returned. Get goals. Definitely want a member ID. Edit call, we pass in maybe it should be just ID because it's explicit 
explicitly about a goal for the edit and we're returning the ID for a new goal on the ad. So it gets a bit messy here then. Let's rename that to something like get goal measurements, which is there. So now that's good because the measurement has each measurement has a goal ID and it's explicitly set as goal ID in the database it's goal underscore ID so that's okay I think I'm going to change these and screw everything up, no doubt. <laughs> but, you know, do it early. ID is a newly created goals ID. ID is the ID goal that is being edited. Ugh. This reads a little bit better. So, add goal. Edit goal. I think that's it. Get measurements, we're passing the goal ID. Great measurements, got the same. That's a local variable there. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so in the JavaScript, we are updating add call. It's now going to get an ID back. Hopefully, it's all uppercase. 
but what's the bit in its lowercase? I'm going to give that a go, actually. If I have everything in it, it might be lowercase. No, I think I need to be because the yeah because we don't have any uh, annotations here. I'm going to just be explicit there for the time being. You know, I swap that out so localized anyway. Yeah, and then edit go all has changes as well. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. And then I just need to double check, see what usage of goal ID we have across these. There, there, that's it. Go on, measurement. Yep, that's cool. Okay. Let's see whether that compiles. Server, client, charm. Deploy, deploy, deploy. OK. Lots of goals. Let's get rid of some of them. Yep. Do that. And do that. Oh god. In theory. Let's see. Yep. Um, what was I last week? Uh, I can't remember now. I think it was like one eight five point four, and that was like last Monday, I think. Let's do that. Ooh. Ah, yeah. Okay. I bet that is a lowercase id. But didn't hold on, didn't I catch that?
That's correct. Where's the arrow then? That's definitely coming back up. Oh, no, let's get calls. I need to do this thing. What did I do there then? D dog goal ID. Well, that's curious. What am I missing? This is when I should have a stream. There's probably people shouting at me now. If we've got a goal. Jason saved. It's doing the dispatch. It's coming through here. Then going. Which is no different to this. Well, it is in a way, I suppose. Oh no, it was working before. And all saved. Oh, I'm totally lost there. Why? Why has that changed? Surely it's not. I don't think so. This, I don't think this is the way to do it. Oh. No, it's not. That's not right.
Oh, it does play. It is an event. But do you do pass it? Oh, jeez. Uh, getting tired, I guess. Right. Dink, 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 dink. Dink. Quick and dirty, that's not great, but. That should do it. Hmm. I think it's almost time to wrap up and go watch some YouTube. All right. If I go there. Yeah, definitely updated. That's good. Add another one. Um, let's do that cycle one again. I might actually do that one day. <laughs> I do need to do uh, a different type of exercise. Again, end of August, and just to see what happens there. And we've done none. Hey, okay, we're good. Now, if we change the date, um, let's say end of September instead for this one. End of September. Okay. Sorted. Okay. All right. So we did a little bit of refactoring there. Cleaned up the API so it returns less, does less, does less. No more reads when we do um, a edit or an add. I'll save on a few resources, make things a bit quicker, especially as it now means that the front end has to go clean itself up, decide what to do. So in that respect, like the ad goal can go fetch if it really wants to, just that individual one and slot it in. Um, or as it is at the moment, it can just do a reset of the goals and go get everything. Which is a bit heavy handed, but for the time being, that's OK. Um, whereas the edit goal. Again, does the same three sets because the same place. That's interesting. That still works. If I do reset, how's that goal ID? Must wait on the tick. Hmm. I have to watch out for that. I don't know how that actually works because the goal is not a copy at that point. Oh, yes, it is. It is. All right. Okay. Yes, sorry. It is a copy. I did the right thing, didn't I? That's good. Pram is passed in. That's fine. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's definitely getting late. Ish. Um, let's commit that. Simplify and it. Oh, 
can't even type anymore. Okay. There you go. So we fixed the bug. Edit goal and uh, edit goal sorted. Okay. Done. Okay. Um, I think that's enough for tonight. Um, done, probably done way more than I would in the morning. Um, but that's kind of set me up now, so we have add and edit goal working nicely with less data happening on the back on the return. I think the next thing I need to do is dive into testing those API endpoints. Um just to give me a peace of mind. I might maybe I should add uh, delete and then yeah, or maybe I should set up the testing and then do the delete and do that properly with a, you know, red green testing. That would be good. That would probably exercise it. Yeah, maybe. Um, okay, well, that's uh, enough for today. Um, until next time, take care.